So welcome, this is a quick review for a product I never thought I would buy it. This is the Green Stuff World uh, brush rinser and I'm aware that recently there's a lot of discussions especially with the company and their company attitude and their moral standards in terms of what they sell and what they do. <clears throat> I don't want to dive into into these things too much because um, I'm not entirely aware of the overall situation but I'm very aware that this type of the system is not new. It's around since, I don't know, like 30 years already as the, the idea behind is very, very simple. Um, Green Stuff World um, brought this on the market, I think some years ago, maybe two years ago, but Corona was uh, diluting my brain a little bit. So uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, they have at the moment, um, or since a while, a larger version of that top bottle available. And I want to show you um, what this is, what it does, is it good, how expensive is it, let's find out. The Green Stuff World Brush Rinser um, is, um, as mentioned, a brush rinser for, for different types of paint. Um, it comes in this set and as you can see uh, you get the grimy dirty one as I'm only reviewing products I used for a while and not fresh out of the box. I just bought this because I was bored <laughs> I have to say. Um, I never thought I would buy something of these. I use standard glasses for painting with water or even the Citadel Games Workshop um, um, cup which I think has great stability in comparison to their colors. So um, do I use this one? Well, I have to say yes I do but also in addition to standard uh, cups with plain water. So. What does it do? Um, well, the, the biggest advantage is you fill this up here. It holds 250 milliliters of water, which is quite okay. You put this here. I'll show you in a minute how, it's, how it works. And then um, the water flows down this, this canal here, builds a little reservoir you can use to, um, to, to clean your brush. And when this is dirty and whatever, uh, up to you, you press the button here. It's like a spring release thing and you see um, it opens uh, it opens the, uh, the cavity here. So the water, the dirty water flows in here and you see it's really made from the cheapest materials. <sighs> Already some rust here. I don't know how that, how long that screw will gonna hold with all the humidity in here. Um, but for now um, it does the job and I cannot really complain. But it feels very plasticish and, I, and even this is very very cheap thin plastic. But the whole thing just costs 13 euro approximately. So well I think you get what you pay for. And now the most important question, is it useful or is it just like a nice gadget you won't really use? Well, why? is this interesting if you like i do paint a model you have metallic colors you have normal standard colors and as you know if you mix up metallic colors and standard colors this will form up in your in your paint water and if you always go in the same pot in the same pot you will have metallic particles in your normal color transferring to your model yes that is bad so what does the common sense person do? Yes, we use two cups, one for metallics, one for standard, um, for standard uh, colors, non-metallic. So the problem is solved and we can get rid of it. But, okay, how can we justify this here? Well, I think, first of all, it's clean water. So. I have really always, if I want a fresh amount of clean water, I can use for a while, get rid of it and clean again. So even my, my paint water, if I, for example, paint was in a minute, a lot of red, and then switching to a, like a skin color, I do not have to worry that um, the water in my, in my brush is, has already a certain color. Okay, that can be also done with like 
three pots of water. And you see it's a lot of many, many pots for different purposes. So this somehow solves that, that issue. Ah, well, the funny thing is when I'm telling you this, I personally do not want to recommend it already because it feels so cheap and so unnecessary. Um, but I have to say I'm using it, but I'm not using it frequently. I just use it when I have a longer painting session and I want to, to, to use that one here. Um, yeah. So if you fill this up, you have approximately 30 times you can get fresh water, which is okay. Yeah, the, um, the, 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 the reservoir here fits two of these. So if you empty this one, you can fill it up and theoretically, I'll come into this in a minute, put this on top again and then use it additional 30 times and then you have to empty the reservoir. So that is nice. It had also some kind of structure here so you can like really clean your brush. And as you can see, uh, I, I'm doing this. But as the, uh, you as the uh, vigilant observer notice, there is a lot of stain around here and even here. Because what happens is when you fill this up with, with, your, with, your, with water and you use it um, um, for, to clean your brush, the dirty water will also flow up here. Um, so everything will eventually be quite of grimy. For the first few times, I cleaned it very thoroughly. And after, I don't know, the 10th times, I had no interest in doing that anymore. So I, but I can just recommend cleaning up this rubbery ball in the middle. Otherwise it might leak. And that is what, something you don't want. So nice, easy. Coming to my biggest critique. And I will show you this just with the glass here. So I screw this up and I pour water in. I will not fill it up entirely because I want you to see the issue. So then um, I put this on top. It's not even a screw. It's just like, it's just like done, shut, you know? There is no seal. So if you do not press this thoroughly, um, it already starts leaking. So it happens rarely, but first issue, no good sealing, sealing here. So, okay, this is now good fit this one on top here and if you think well yeah there might be a system in place I can do this easily I just like turn this around now and I'm fumbling with that and of course I did this like I did in the first time now. and as you can see you have a whole mess of water everywhere huh? because in the moment you pour this in um, it in this way the water starts to flow out so very inconvenient from my perspective and especially um, if you want now to use it a product. So you have to be careful, you do it this way, lift it up, balance it, clean, you clean everything, bam, and then you have that. So, okay, let's assume the side. Let's take some, let's take some, some, uh, some color. Okay, I'll take some red color so you can see it easily. Yeah, uh, I can even, I have so much spilled water here, I can easily do this here on my, on my, on my mat. And I'm just like uh, painting something, whoop, and then I have some, some back and I want to get rid of it. And of course I go in here, whoop, 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 whoop. And as you can see, it's uh, quite, de quite diluted. So even if I really pour in whole drops of, of color, yeah. Um, uh, but as you can see here, turning this around, it starts to move towards the, the water reservoir. I mean, it rarely goes up here. Um, usually if you just like continue to use it for a while and you have this kind of density here, um, you don't really, you're not really um, having the issue and I don't want to use this soup here of reddish color for further. So exciting moment, I'm pressing the magic button, flop and it's up. As you can see, there is still residue here, um, but I really put a whole drop of pure paint in there. This is unlikely, you usually won't do this. So, no, but as you can see, um, 
if I want to get rid of really everything, um, I have to clean this here and now I go boop, second, and now I would say that's clean enough. Let's assume I really paint something, okay? So I have painted something, boop, 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 great, lovely, and now I have this amount here and I do this and as you can see, then it's working, okay? So we don't want to be over critical. So let's assume that's done, okay? I'm pressing, I'm pressing, I'm pressing, I'm pressing, I'm pressing, I'm pressing, 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 pressing. I'm just leave this here, so I want to empty this one. Now remember, it was not entirely full. Boop, so no water anymore. Okay, let's take it off. Okay, so turn it around. Good, no leakage, but as you can see, great so and now comes the interesting part for me which i think is the killer it's lovely that they have a huge other one but i fill this up now yeah not even full guys yeah please remember that so come on and of course i can create the same mess all over again okay but i don't want that so the idea is the or the best way to deal with that would be to use It's the different way around. So just like put it like this. Okay. And now turn it. Huh? Is this working? Let's try. Well, a little bit better. Okay. I think this is the, wo the way they intended it to do. But I cannot grab the whole thing and turn it around because then the water from the weather wall will, flew, will, will, will um, come out. So I think ugh, it would be much, much better when the when there would be an additional lid up here i can tighten and i can simply pour water in. that would be so much more convenient this honestly is a mess and that happens to me from time to time because if you go in it's not a good, good it has no stability um, you can easily topple over and then oh spillage again oh my god oh, boom. and you have like your whole desk is a wet palette this is really terrible design-wise from my perspective. The idea, the concept is great, okay? So in summary, I would say, if you learn how to really handle this thing, take it up, be quick on whatever, prepare it, set your working space and then continue to paint, great. Um, Green Stuff World is providing a 500 milliliter um, reservoir right now. Um, so this might have like like 60 times you can you can do that and that is great and that will really suffice for a while but still I think the design could have been better huh? so should you buy it well I would say for 13 euro you cannot really go wrong but um, only if you're really using a lot of different type of metallic and non-metallic paints or like a lot of color variations for a model then it might be nice to have. But I think this is one of these gimmicks you do not really need. Um, so if somebody is gifting it to you, great, give it a try. Can I recommend it? Well, I would say probably not. If you have too much money to, to, to spend, go for it. It has its advantages, but I think the mess it usually creates and the, the quality of the material um, is not great. Uh, for example, this is just like really, I'm just carefully touching it and it breaks open. And if I turn it around, oh my God, no? and even here, suck, a little bit open and it starts to, to, to leak. So whole mess, um, you have to be very careful using it. So thank you guys. I will clean up this mess here and I hope you appreciate it um, and you have an honest review here. So I think Green Stuff World has a lot of great um, products in their range and they have really cool stuff you won't usually find some, somewhere else. This particular product is not new, like I told you at the beginning. I still use it from time to time, but it's for me it's too fiddly and would have been improved to really um, to be really something useful for me directly on my, on my desk. So... Um, I use it, yes, from time to time, but in the very end, I think I just continue to use two different paint pots where I exchange the water frequently. That usually 
is is working for me. So give it a try if you see it or if you get gifted, but I cannot really give a good recommendation to, to buy it.